In this video, I want to show you how to use debug.writelines. Now, I've already created a button. I'm just putting the code in behind that button. So sometimes in your program, you'll want to write out kind of print, line, print statements kind of to yourself when you're in debug mode. So you can see that your program is working properly, maybe getting to a certain point. Um, so when we run our program, it's in debug mode. And then when you release your program to the customer, it's in release mode and the debug lines, the debug.writeline statements, they don't exist anymore. Now, the way that it's written is uh, system. This is the long way. I'm going to show you the short way now in a second. System.diagnostics.debug.writeline. So I'm just put in, uh, I'm just going to put it here, my own name, Sandra Testing. Now, just to show you where this works, first of all, I'm going to press the run button. And I have this behind a button on my form called using debug.writeline. And I click on that. It will appear there in the output window. Now, when you first run this in your Visual Studio, that output window mightn't appear. So you'll find it in debug, windows, and output. So that's if it's missing, and it'll show up there. Now, just to go back to my program. So instead of having to write this um, long name the whole time, known as the fully qualified name, I can put a using directive up here, so using system dot diagnostics now what that does is it imports or gives me permission to use this namespace and use all classes or types within that namespace so it's giving me permission to use debug that debug class or the debug type without having to write the fully qualified name so now any time i want to do debug dot write line um it's much easier and quicker to write it so i have to know another uh Debug, debug line and again semicolon on the end of the line and just to test that out so again the debug.write line statements they appear in the output window and if you don't have that output window you'll find it in debug windows and output and that is debug.write line